It was the spring of 2009 when Chip Smith and David Smith met and bonded under the most difficult of situations. Although not related, they became brothers in a valiant fight against cancer. Chip, a battalion chief with the Ontario Fire Department, and David, a history teacher and head basketball coach at Los Osos High School, first met during chemotherapy sessions at San Antonio Community Hospital, where they were both battling stage four colorectal cancer. Uh, and when I started my chemotherapy, our oncologist, Dr. Ibrahimi, suggested I, I meet Chip and talk to him uh, because he was a few months ahead of me. And so we kind of became friends. Uh, during chemo together, we would take, uh, have our chemo treatments at the same time, and we would sit and talk, and you know, we, we kind of struck it off. We're close to the same age. Uh, his daughters go to Rancho, where my wife teaches. Uh, you know, him being a fireman, my dad was a fireman for 28 years, and so uh, we kind of, you know, our friendship kind of grew out of that. And it was from that shared experience and struggle against cancer that David got the idea for a charity basketball tournament pitting various fire departments against each other. In February, the Hoops for Hope tournament came to fruition with the Ontario, Upland, Chino Valley, and Rancho Cucamonga fire departments all sending teams. But while David's cancer responded some to the chemotherapy, Chip was not as fortunate. Uh, he, he did not respond as well to the chemo. Originally he did, um, but then he uh, stopped responding to the chemo and started to have new growth and uh, things have kind of progressed uh, from that, that area. He screened early uh, and um, you, you look at Chip, who's, who's younger than 50, who got it. Um, you, you can do certain things that aren't very invasive. You can ask your... Um, your physician for uh, hemocult tests, which are very simple tests. A lot of insurances don't cover some of the screenings at, uh, at younger ages, but uh, the awareness is huge. And then for us here, really, as a fire family, is to honor Chip Smith, a uh, very dear friend, uh, a person who's had a huge impact on the fire service here in Southern California, and um, wish he was here. Sadly, and perhaps ironically, Chip died just hours after the tournament that he inspired was over. Chip Smith was just 46 years old.